Hello, everyone. Dr. Vicki here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. It is time for Taroscopes. We're going to be doing the Taroscopes for the sign of Capricorn. That's Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising for the month of May 2024. Before I get started, I would just like to welcome all my new subscribers and, of course, my tried and true followers who have been following me for years. I greatly appreciate your support. And I'm honored uh, to be able to uh, offer these taroscopes to you, hopefully to help you navigate um, the most tumultuous waters we find ourselves in. Um, before I do the tarot part of the taroscope, I have selected a, um, a um, crystal ally card. This is a deck of cards uh, with crystals on them. Um, and this is what they look like. Um, and it's from um, a, a cards uh, by Naisha Ashian. Uh, she has two uh, editions. Her first edition um, came out years and years ago. And then um, a couple of years ago, she put out a second edition that has a few more crystals in it. And uh, it's an excellent uh, resource. She does an excellent job one of the most intelligent um, um, one of the most intelligent books that I find uh, or work with the crystals. All right, so uh, I did select a, a card before we started and I got Spinel. Spinel, this is for Capricorn and it says hope. So I'm gonna read what the book says about Spinel. It is a wind element uh, card in this deck and so it is about messages that we're receiving um you know on the wind as it were and let me find the is it or is it water oh no it looks like it might be water pardon me ladies and gents it is water so it's about feeling okay here we go so uh <laughs> The air and the water cards uh, look somewhat similar. You can tell by the background here, but I should have known by the color here. Anyway, Spinel, hope your chakras that are activated is Anahata, your heart, and Vishuddha, your throat. And um, the mantra is, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. So, um, it says, even in the darkest of emotional storms, Spinel brings refreshment to the spirit. It helps you to remember that change is the only constant in life and that there is no situation or experience that can last forever. If you can remain centered in the surety of change, there is always hope, no matter how dire the situation appears at the moment. The ancient Persian Sufi adage, this too shall pass, encompasses profound spiritual wisdom and makes an excellent mantra when you feel defeated by circumstances or lose faith in your dreams. Spinell is encouraging you to have hope and put and to put a stop to cynical or negative thinking. You cannot see the whole plan, the way in which all of the players are involved or how events are meant to unfold. There are many um, there may be many aspects of your current situation that are hidden from you. When you allow hope to fill your heart, you are displacing the negativity that is ignorance of the divine of the divine plan. Uh, you allow yourself to be inspired by the knowledge that there is a reason for the current situation that serves the divine plan and that this too shall pass. There is a light breaking through the storm clouds and Spinel is bringing you the elevated message that you should indeed allow yourself to hope. I think this is a good message for all of us, quite frankly, as we uh, as we face some pretty dire uh, situations. Okay, so um, in the in the spirit of hope, I decided that I would um, I'm going to use the um, I was going to use <laughs> I was. I was going to use one deck, but I'm going to use this deck instead. This is my Tarot of the Spirit deck. This deck is by uh, 
the PhD, Pamela Eakins, uh, and her mother did the designs on the deck, uh, an artist. And uh, it is steeped in Kabbalah. And uh, if you're looking for a good resource for both uh, Kabbalah and the tarot, the tarot of the spirit is a wonderful resource. Uh, it comes with the book. I you could probably most of these decks you can you can um, buy without the book. I think, but I would definitely suggest you get the book. Um, it's chock full of really really good information. Okay, let's do a couple more shuffles here. This is for Capricorn for the month of May. In the merry, merry month of May. And of course, uh, Capricorn as a uh, Saturn rule sign, Pisces. Uh, Saturn is in Pisces all year. <laughs> all year. Pisces being the last sign of the zodiac, especially after Pluto is almost done with your sign. Uh, really does clear the decks, I think, for the Capricorn. So your decks are still being cleared, and that isn't always the most pleasant of experiences. But in the end, um, it's probably the best of experiences. Okay. We start with the Way of the Cross. This is the Ten of Swords. So, you know, it's interesting. I've had any number of readings where the Ten of Swords if not the first card coming up, was definitely in the mix. And the Ten of Swords speaks to us of the end of something. And this is the sun in Gemini. So perhaps there's the end of something who has a sun in Gemini, perhaps. Uh, let's see what's crossing that. The Brother of Wind. The Brother of Wind. This is an energy of... Uh, the brother of wind can create some chaos um, because they tend the brother of wind tends to jump into situations uh, before um, without thinking, without thinking. And it's almost as if there's the, the, the demise or the end of something is due to um, or is maybe helped by um, somebody coming in and creating chaos. So let's see what else. Let's see what's at the base of this reading. We have victory. So there is some victory. Uh, there's victory. You're standing in victory. However, there is uh, quite a bit of mess in front of you. So we have uh, in the past, the six of water, which in the deck is faith. Um, this is mediation, uh, family, responsibility, staying in your heart, uh, making connections, um, faith and glory, not a bad, not a bad thing to base, um, to base your life on. See what's in the sky. Ah, uh, the six of pentacles. This is, uh, beauty. It is balance. It is the balancing of the scales. So, so far we have three sixes in this and six is about, um, community and responsibility to the community and balancing the scales and um, a certain amount of reparations here. Let's see what's in the immediate future. We have the Ace of Swords. So we have uh, a new beginning. So we're at the end and it looks very messy, but we would re have realized that we won something, but in that winning, uh, what was the what was the cost of that win? What was the cost of the win? But in in its in in that most of that is coming is at the end of something. This this disruption or this letting go or this ending. Um, we're still sort of like we're standing victorious, and yet we're still sort of in the mess that uh, that that uh, breaking down of the old system has created, and so. Uh, our challenge, perhaps, is to take the proper actions uh, in order to clear the way for this new beginning. And so I feel like this month for you, Capcorn, is doing a lot of uh, house cleaning, perhaps. It might be literal. It may be figurative. Um, but 
there are still some things that that are that are no longer of service, no longer of need that need to sort of be swept up so that that new energy can come in. How it seems from the outside, we have the brother of water. They, you, you are seen as somebody who's heart centered, who wants to be of help, uh, who is uh, loving, connected, and uh, and helpful at this time. Domestic situation, we have the brother of earth. This is a really nice card. I like this card for your domestic situation. The brother of earth or the knight of earth is the stable knight, is the one who protects the resources, who one who works hard. So there's so there's uh, there's uh, uh, hard work ahead or hard work in your home. This could be the cleaning up of the mess. I mean, I don't know, maybe one of you had some sort of wind incident where um, a tornado or a tree falls or something needs to be cleared off because of the wild winds, because of the wild winds of change. Hopes and fears, the 10 of earth, the great work, you hope that uh, what you have accomplished stands for something um, and that you can stand on your previous um, uh, victories really, but hard earned aligned victories, not just victory over something. Um, and we have at the outcome here, the 10 of fire, this is the 10 of wands. This is the burden bearer. There are still some burdens that you are carrying. Um, let's see what else comes up. We have the mother of wind. I'm gonna pick three cards, see if I can get a major arcana. This is the truth seeker, the truth teller. Um, she creates the whirlwind. She's the queen of swords. Let's see what else we have here. And then the sun coming out. So, so ultimately, while by the time you get to the end of this month, you might still feel like um, there are burdens that you're still carrying more burdens than necessary. There is this sense of perhaps somebody coming in or an energy of a feminine energy coming in to help to clear things out and to help you see, uh, see more clearly illumination. This is also about choice. Choice. Underneath it, uh, we have the earth mother, lovely. We have the father of wind. And we have the lovers, the choice card. So I feel like um, there is a decision to be made uh, around your resources and even maybe around your I feel like your mind, your 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 practical, your practicality, and the sharpness of your mind uh, will help you to make the right choices here. This can also be some romantic um, thing here. We do have the mother of Earth here, which is the feminine uh, feminine Earth, which of course uh, can be Capricorn, uh, and then we have the father which is the Libra energy, the father of winds is the Libra energy. So I feel like there's a there's a real balancing act going on, but there's uh, all of this um, sort of, there's, there's, there's a lot of endings here and I feel like it's a matter, this, this, um, this month for you is a matter of uh, getting through the whatever's left over from the last cycle that you need to clear out, but there is help to be had. And, uh, but it, it is a lesson. It is a lesson. It's, it, you know, victory is, is not always uh, neat and, and, and tidy. And uh, you will be evaluating the cost of, uh, of what has occurred, what what it has cost us, and uh, 
how to move forward from that or what it has cost you and how to move forward from that. So I hopefully that uh, reading makes some sense to you all. Um, have a, a good month. Uh, May is, uh, you know, April was such a transformational month that I feel like May is is in in a in a way a little bit of a cleanup month from April for all of us. And so um, you being um, you being um, so good at seeing how to best utilize energy. Uh, there's a lot of work ahead, but a lot of it is, it's a lot of it is cleanup, but a lot of it is also uh, figuring out what worked and what didn't work and how to best move forward uh, in a more efficient way and in a way where there will be less, I think, destruction and more construction. <laughs> All right. Well, none of these readings have been easy or simple, I have to say. Ooh. All right, guys, have yourself a great month. And uh, I will see you again next month. For those of you um, who uh, may not know, I do do a personal readings. They are a combination of astrology, numerology, and Kabbalah. They are not card readings. Um but uh, I offer an hour and hour and a half sessions. There are links below for that if you're interested, really getting in touch with your life purpose, uh, with what you've come into heal in this lifetime and a deeper understanding of yourself um, through the lens of uh, the stars and, and the tree of life, which gives life to uh, all of us and connects us all. So, all right, take care, everyone. I'll see you again next month. And uh, uh, you'll be busy. <laughs> Watch your back. Watch your back. Okay. Take care. Namaste.